Why'd you kill me? Welcome to episode 602. It's in the air. This season I decided we should do things a little bit differently because it takes a village to make this show. I'm sick of talking, frankly. And so I'm going to be joined in all of these as much as possible on all of these episode previews by the writers of the episode. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Vlaming. He wrote the episode. Whatever's in the air, it affects people too. Why are the rest of us okay? I don't know, but according to this, it comes from the plants. We are gonna ride it out. It's a great plan, Miller. What happens when we're trapped in here and the rest of us lose our minds? They know they're endangering each other, but they don't know how to deal with this. And so they lock themselves up. Yeah, we figure out what the chains and cuffs exactly. that we see all over the place in episode one are about. Of course, you don't really need airborne toxins to turn on your friends, do you, Clark? They left Earth a long, long, long time ago. But waking up from cryo, it's as if they just left a day before or a couple days before. And so all that stuff is fresh. You killed my mother when you burnt the farm and forced us to march into a massacre. You think you can do this without me? Without me, you are nothing. The biggest challenge they're, they're facing is the conflict within their group. They left Earth behind, but they brought all the animosity and the, the self-doubt and the, uh, the guilt that they're all harboring. It's still fresh. If not for you, I would have delivered us safely to that valley. Our sins would have been washed away. You can't leave the past behind. You can fly across the universe. But uh, you know, you are who you are, and what you've done follows you. Octavia. Get away from me!